In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the Dell 12th generation PowerEdge servers the easy way. This guide covers the R220, R320, R420, R520, R620, R720, R720, R720XD, and R820 rack mounted servers, as well as the T320, T420, and T620 tower slash rackable servers. This may also cover the M series of blade servers, such as the M420, M520, M620, and M820. However, I am not 100% sure on this, as I have not done it myself. This method assumes that you have an internet connection with access to Dell's FTP site. This requires that a network cable is connected to one of the NIC cards in the system, and not just the dedicated iDRAC port. You will need to either connect to the server via the iDRAC virtual console, or the old-fashioned way with a VGA monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Depending on your various firmwares on your server, this method may not work. If it does not, please see the video linked in the description to update your server using a Dell-provided ISO. To start, we're going to open up the iDRAC Virtual Console and boot into the Lifecycle Controller. So to boot into the lifecycle controller, this can be done by either pressing F10 at the BIOS screen and then waiting for it to load in, or if you're using iDRAC 7 or iDRAC 8, you can instruct the server to automatically boot into the lifecycle controller by launching the virtual console, clicking on Next Boot up here, and then selecting the lifecycle controller. All right, so now we power on the system. It can take a few minutes for the system to power on and get into the lifecycle controller, so please be patient while it loads up. Now that we are in the lifecycle controller, it is a good idea to first ensure that the network is set up. You can do so by clicking on Settings and then Network Settings. And you're going to want to select the NIC that your network cable is connected to from the drop down menu and then make sure it is getting an IP address. Once you have everything set up, click on the Finish button and then OK to apply your settings. Now that we are back to the home of the Lifecycle Controller, click on Firmware Update and then Launch Firmware Update. Ensure that FTP Server is selected and click Next. Leave the settings on this page the way they are unless you need to configure a proxy server and click Next. The Lifecycle Controller is now going to query the Dell FTP and compare the firmware versions on your server with the latest versions available. Once it completes, you will be presented with this screen that shows you which components have firmware updates available. The ones that are available will be automatically checked all you need to do now is click apply and it will begin installing the new firmwares automatically. The server may need to reboot a few times to install the updates, so give it some time to complete. If you come back to the lifecycle controller homepage, I would recommend running the update one more time to make sure that everything is fully updated. If you run into any issues, my best suggestion would be to either post a comment on this video, go to the Dell forums, or go to reddit.com forward slash r forward slash home lab. Both of those sites have helpful communities that can get you the answers you need. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.